Now I'm going to uh, hit the return button and I want to add an image in here. So up here along the top of this gray bar are three little buttons. One is for uh, us adding a form, one's for polling, and the other one is for media. So if I click on that, it, it will take you to this file. Now you can drag and drop images right into this window and it'll upload them. You can select files and navigate to them on your desktop. You can also go to Media Library where all of the images that you store, you've ever stored on your blog will, will be here. You can see I've uploaded this garden painting a few times. I was doing some testing. And when you click Show on, on one of those images, you get all the statistics about that, all the data about that image. Um, it's the same if you upload it from your desktop, you'll get the, the, all of that information. So you can see uh, the size it is. You can put a caption for it here in the description. Also, another thing about this photo is if I wanted to click on the photo when it's in the blog post and have it take me to, uh, say, for example, another website that has my paintings on it. This is one of my paintings. Um, for example, like uh, this one here. I can just uh, take the URL up here in the top and then come down and go and paste that in there, which I've already done. I'll paste that in there again. And then I can say, insert into post. You want to make sure before you insert this photo that your cursor is blinking where you want the photo to appear. Otherwise, you have to hit return and try to place it. Um, you can also select whether it's flush left, center, or right, uh, different sizes it can be. It can also be a thumbnail if you want. And w when it's a thumbnail, it's much smaller than you see here. And But when you click on it in the post, it enlarges to a much larger photo. So you can fit a lot more photos in that way, and it doesn't make you have to, a person have to scroll forever. So that's always a nice thing, too. I'm going to go ahead and update this. Click Update. And if it was an original post, it would this would say publish, which is the same. Um, and I, let's go view the post now. If I come to the photo and I click on the photo, it opens a new page, a new tab, and it takes me to a link of that artwork. So that's a way to get links into your into your blog post, and it you know it can really expand the amount of information that you put into a blog post. You can link to anything. Um, it's it's quite it's quite powerful. So that's a general overview of how to work with images.